for the Z-Track injection. This is another IM injection that we're going to do. It's used for medications that are very irritating um, to the tissue or to the skin, and so one of those medications is Compazine. So we're going to check our dose one last time, and our dose is for 7.5 milligrams. It's 5 milligrams per ml. I drew up 1.5 ml, so I have the right dose. I'm going to grab my alcohol wipe over here and get that ready. I'm going to transition to go into my patient's room. When I get there, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to make sure I have the right drug, right dose. Check my patient, two patient identifiers, their name, birth date, etc. I'm going to pick an IM site that's the same as the other IM sites, except that I will never use the deltoid site. It's too small to use the Z-Track for, so I have to use one of the, either the leg or the gluteal ones. I'm going to pick the dorsal gluteal site for my patient, which means I need to find my trochanter and my posterior superior iliac spine. I'm going to call off the site that I pick. While that's drying, I'm going to get my gloves ready. I also need to tell my patient that this needle is going to stay in for 10 seconds once I'm done injecting to make sure that the needle, the medication comes off the needle and into the muscle tissue well. While that's drying, I'm going to get my needle ready. Now the key with the Z-Track is that I need to pull the subcutaneous tissue over a little bit prior to injecting the needle. So I'm going to come just lateral to the site that I want to inject through and I'm going to pull it over just slightly. This hand, my non-dominant hand, the ulnar surface is going to be resting on my patient. I'm going to go in at 90 degrees. The thumb and forefinger of the hand that's pulling the subcutaneous tissue over is going to be my stabilizing hand. I'm going to aspirate like I did with the other IM injection. I do not get any blood return, so I'm going to switch to injection. injecting. I'm going to inject the medication slowly over three to five seconds. And once I'm done injecting, I need to count to ten. So I count to 10 for 10 seconds. Once I do that, this is a vanish point syringe, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to push hard on the plunger all the way down, which will remove the needle from the skin. I'm going to do that. As soon as the needle comes up, my hand comes off, the subcutaneous tissue slides over, and it locks in the medication into the muscle layer. This needle is already protected. I put it right in the sharps container. I check my patient, apply a 2x2 two two or a Band-Aid, take off my gloves, wash my hands, and document the procedure. And that's the Z-Track injection of the IM.